Hey, up viewers and viewers, my name is General Red Strategist. And that's it. That's There's it. Nothing right, else going well, on here. See you later. Let's see you later, video. everybody. <laughs> it's Reddit, folks. Oh. Mm, it indeed. is, and we're going to do. We have done it before. A bit of mildly interesting, which is, uh, I think, uh, recently in the in the past we've done a damn that's interesting. Those are yeah. posts that are like really bang wow out there. This is posts that are, yeah, middling yeah. middling of the road. Yeah, um, indeed. So, so. Things that are interesting, but not like you know, wow, but a bit like, yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, do you want to tell us the first one then, Phil? Uh, righto. So, my sink sprayer has a tough spot remover. It shoots a high-pressure stream down the middle that is surprisingly powerful, but a cone of water around it that blocks all the splashes. Well, let's have a look at this picture then. Okay. Okay. Right. Oh, okay. I see. So, it's got the... Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, you can see that little bit of... Um, it looks like uh, just a bit of plastic film, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Um, okay, yeah, I mean, sure, I guess that's mildly interesting. Um. It certainly is interesting. Interesting, intriguing thing. Um, yeah. Nah, it's, that's not whetting my appetite, Phil. I need, I need more. I need, I need something that makes me go, hmm, yeah. Nah, that's not doing it for me, that one. I, I need something better. I need something bigger, Phil. <laughs> yes, on to the next one. The coffee I ordered in bleh, ordered even in Bosnia came with a complimentary cigarette. Right, uh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, that is mildly interesting. Yeah. yeah. A suppose, complimentary uh, cigarette, I wonder why. Hmm. So it looks like um, in bars and restaurants in Bosnia they don't have a smoking ban. Probably not, no. Because um, I know it's quite common, the, obviously it's, it's been yeah. common here since 2007. Yeah. And I believe that other places have it as well. I know that Germany does it. Um, which I must say, I find a hundred times better because I remember going, you know, to have a restaurant meal or going into a pub and you fucking stank. I know, it's Your smelled. coat, your jackets, they just stank. Awful, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, that's what it looks like in Bosnia. They still, uh, you're still allowed to smoke there. So, yeah. interesting why they gave you gave you a cigarette. Uh, did they assume <laughs> you're a smoker? Who uh, knows? They're making assumptions <laughs> about you. Don't yeah. automatically assume, please. Yeah. Well, you or know, maybe they just do it to just to do it to everyone because maybe Bosnia is a, a high smoking country. Maybe. Or maybe you know you just wandered into the restaurant and they thought, God, God, that guy smells like a smoker. Just give him a complimentary just cigarette. Just give him one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Have you ever? Given it a go at all? No, smoking. I haven't. No. no, I have friends who have, but I've never right. given no, it smoking. I'd, I'd rather, I'd rather keep my lungs in nice yeah. working condition. Thank you very much. Same here. Um, I, it's just something that's never really appealed to me, in all honesty. Yeah. Indeed. Well, yeah. number three then, Phil. So we got a missing child poster <coughs> and sticker from when my mum kidnapped me. Okay, here we go. Now this is an interesting Ooh. one. <laughs> um, oh, okay. yeah, indeed. Good. Wow. So, what's the context here behind this one? Mm. Yeah. Why did your mum kidnap you? Was it a, a dispute between uh, yeah, your mum and your yeah. dad? Divorce that just went particularly, uh, particularly bellious. Um, yeah. yeah. See, oh, that's um, certainly something there. I mean, if you're able to keep that, then <laughs> yeah, that's a piece of your own personal history, right there. <laughs> um, something yeah, to that show the grandkids a... that, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, that could that could be an idea, couldn't it? Yeah, that could be an idea. Indeed. Uh, show the bank is. Um, I'm trying um, to look, is there like a date on it somewhere um, that would say when this was from? Because obviously it's got like the details of the um, of the kidnapped kids um, and the mother, but um, no, I don't see a date anywhere on it. No. Yeah, that that is that is quite intriguing. That mm. oh, dear, okay, see? missing. Yeah. Uh, look, it looks like there's the famous uh, hairstyles, isn't it? I know. Fun, it's then, yeah. old. Those it like hairstyles. Eighties, nineties, something like that. Yeah, um, absolutely. Yeah. You see, I feel like this shouldn't be mildly interesting. I think this should be in really interesting or something, this one. Yeah, there's a little, yeah, there's a little bit more to that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. indeed. <clears throat> so, my dad wrote to J.R.R. Tolkien in 1959. Tolkien sent him a letter back. Let's have a look at this one, then. Right. There's what actually a read of it. Okay. 76 Sandfield Road, heading to Oxford, 12th of August, 1959. Dear Dell, thank you very much for your letter. You can well imagine that an author is delighted to hear that readers like his work, but he's also very pleased to hear of people buying it. I feel like I owe you a special letter of thanks for being a walking adver uh, advertisement. 
I've taken the liberty of sending a copy of your letter back to the American publishers, Horton Mifflin. I'm sure they'll be pleased to hear of what you have been doing. You're sincerely a J.R.R. Tolkien. Oh, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is interesting. Um, the J.R. Tolkien has got that. It's nice when um, when people like that, you know, write back. And, yeah. You know, because not, not everyone does it. Not every, it's not not a common thing for, for authors or things to do that or, or any sort of celebrity to do that. So it's nice when you've got some sort of recognition. Yeah. Again, that's yeah. another thing to show the grandkids. <laughs> Indeed, and say, you know, we have been uh, noticed by the se a senpai of literature and all that. <laughs> to put it that way. <sighs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> I knew that sigh was inbound. There we go. You had to go to a, a sort of anime reference, didn't you? Almost, yes. Well, yeah. it's not so much a reference, it's more just a silly joke, really, more than oh, anything dear. else. Oh, yeah. dear. Indeed. Right, yes. okay. Donna Dollar General has a dedicated squeezing chicken to summon a cashier to the register. <laughs> right, okay, nice. Well, it's better than just uh, using a cloche, isn't it? I mean, even though they've got a cloche right there. <laughs> Yes, ding bell or choke the chicken for service. That is, that's cool. I like yeah. that. It's a bit, a bit, a bit imaginative as well. A bit of more of a creative vibe to it, and yeah. uh, a bit of humour in there. We always like a bit of humour. Yeah. Um, Have you seen the hey, um, those rubber chickens, eh? Yeah. Oh, Have you seen the uh, video of the guy who like goes into a shop where there's like a whole big like. Um, um, Container like full of those rubber chickens, and he just gets his hand and like presses down on all of them, and they all just oh, go. God, make this... <laughs> I haven't it's seen loud. a video in, in yeah. uh, but um, I know I know what they do. They're famous for obviously yeah. of a squeak because they've got a little squeaker inside it. Indeed. I like that. That's funny. That. That's good. That's good. Yeah, <laughs> someone's okay. got a bit of humour. Yeah, uh, my forty-five foot long phone charger. Right. Okay. Oh my goodness me! It's a bit, a bit excessive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just in case like the plug like socket is way off. Outside. <laughs> yeah, it's indeed. that big. He's actually rolling it down the path there. Yeah, indeed. Um, God, who manufactured that? Good lord! <laughs> I know what's going on. Why, why is yeah. it so long? And also, what's that? That bucket there? What yeah. is that bucket there? It's just got rocks or pebbles in it or something. What something is that? like that. Yeah. yeah, but that is extremely long. Why do you need that? Indeed. Yeah. <laughs> I suppose if you wanted to. Um, uh, go to your neighbour's house or something. Oh no, I forgot me. Uh, my phone's dying. Oh well, look at this. I've got my charger that I plugged in. It's still plugged in at home. Yeah. And then, uh, you've got loads of people could be trampling on it as well, though. That's yeah. the thing. That well. Indeed. I feel like you could start this, uh, make this the start of a subreddit, something like, you know, r slash, what's the point of this? <laughs> I think Indeed. it probably is. Probably, probably is a is subreddit for yeah. that. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. So we've got the next one, which is my new bra has hands built inside the cups. Uh, what? Okay. Uh, oh. um, why? <laughs> so your own bra is fondling you. Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, I know there's probably like joke bras, novelty bras out there which have like the hands on the sort of outside, so it's like a design as a joke, but. Um, on the inside like that that's not something i would have quite expected to see i know but, it's a bit okay. strange isn't it yeah like they're cupping uh, they're Indeed. cupping you quite nicely there aren't yeah. they strange uh, would yeah. It not? yeah they look a bit like gloves actually is there a context to this let's have a look at the comments <laughs> for anyone who wants to know what it's like to be felt up by the united way logo there you go um, yeah okay strange yeah very weird one okay. um these green rings of light move at the pace of the speed limit to help gauge speed uh Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So right. So they so they move along so so they can t t test these speed uh, limits. Wow. I guess it's a uh, way of catching out anyone who's going over it. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if you're moving faster than the rings, it means you're breaking the speed limit. I guess. Ah, you see, clever. Ah. Yeah. I think this would more go in um, uh, clever design. Yeah, they I could go with that. For, you know, genius design, genius design ideas, or clever designs. Indeed. Uh, actually, that's not one. That's one we should have a look at because I, I reckon yeah. there'll be some interesting things in there at one point. Indeed. But yeah, that that would be for that. But I can, yeah. Absolutely. Speed is not a good thing. Mm. Don't speed, please, people. Don't no, do it. Don't. Don't do it. Indeed. Uh, right. right. On to the next, which is my wife puts honey on a Domino's pe pepperoni and pineapple pizza. Interesting choice. Um, okay, well that's going to make it even more sweeter. Yeah, uh, indeed. Um, and pepperoni and pineapple, that's an interesting combination. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to imagine what that would taste like. Um, uh, but, uh, oh, it's good. Oh, it's good, isn't it, Domino's? I know that when when you've come round, uh, we've had oh, a nice yes. good, uh, set of Domino's. I've not had a good calzone in a while. Um, or a calzone, yeah. Yes, indeed. What was your favorite? Yours was the Texas barbecue, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, Texas barbecue. Uh, that was all the and... meteor. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, but toss for me, it was toss between the meteor, the tuna supreme. Yeah, uh, that's the one. That was it. But then obviously with those new ones, I tried the cheeseburger one. That yeah, was good. good. That was really good. Right. Uh, 
You don't mind pineapple on pizza, do you? No, I, I, look, I like pineapple on pizza. It's one fine. Of the most controversial, um, yeah. One of the most controversial things ever. Yes, indeed. Is uh, pineapple on pizza. But I, uh, I think honey to it is even more. <laughs> yeah. People always sit there and say, oh, you don't put fruit on pizza. Well, what about tomato then? <laughs> ah, yeah. You see? Yeah, you put tomato on it. Honey, so it's making, yeah. this, making this pizza even sweeter. Yeah. God, I haven't had Domino's in ages. I'll have to have it again at some point. Indeed, yeah. Uh, right. have, yeah, I've not yeah. had Domino's in a while. Indeed. Sorry, I'm going off a tangent. There we go. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. Yeah. The winter uniform for Norwegian train conductors is a cloak. Okay, cool. Oh, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's cool. Yeah. Like that. I'm a bit disappointed, though, because when I think of the word cloak, I think of something like really big. And that's just more like a sort of a cape than a cloak. Um, yeah, more like a cape. Oh, well, she probably could be a superhero. She might be. Yeah, <laughs> yeah so what would a uh, female Norwegian train conductor superhero, <laughs> what would she that's be it. called? Yeah, burr, 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 Rail burr, girl. Burr. <laughs> yeah, shame our, our train conductors just... Uh, yeah, they wear boring They have to uniforms. balance with the train as well. That's, that's the thing you have to be yeah. as a train conductor. You have to make sure you yeah. can balance with the train movement. Indeed, uh, yes. Which they're really good at doing. And you always just, you just sometimes you're just sitting there relaxing on the train and all of a sudden, tickets please! Oh God. Yes, that. <laughs> tickets, tickets please. Show me your tickets please. And sometimes you've got people who try and hide in the toilets. Yeah, <laughs> don't do that. Yeah, Stop indeed. Well, here's the conductor then just hammers on the door. Tickets please. Tickets, yeah, yes, please. they're still coming. Yes. Uh, right. Okay, uh, so yeah. next we've got a parking line that's been painted over a crab. Oh, that's not the one I see. Um, I see one that's called Zigzagged Bricks Making a Zigzagged Shadow, um, which is oh. completely different. Um, what have you got after that one? Yeah, I've got the Zigzagged Bricks Making a Zigzagged Shadow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't see the crab one, though. Um, okay. That's not Interesting. there. Interesting. Well, well, we'll look at the Zigzagged Bricks one then, I guess. Let's look at that one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh, that's okay. Uh, that that makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah, because because it's like if you look at like the side of the wall there, the way it's sort of um, the bricks sort of protrude and um, go in again. Yeah, it makes makes the yeah. shape. Indeed. Yeah. It makes see. it very makes it very like a, out of an old uh, video game, doesn't it? Really. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was like pixelated <laughs> PS1 era graphics. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Oh, PS1 me. graphics. Yes. Right. Okie doke. Um, yep. Right, uh, UK supermarket has a tag you can add for carts with wonky wheels. Ah, huh. wonky wheels. Oh, hang on, is that like Sainsbury's or something? Is that Sainsbury's? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can tell it by the colour scheme. Yeah. I went. Hang on a minute. I went into. I've been to Sainsbury's today. I didn't see this. Yeah, I wonder if it's a specific supermarket or if it's like the signage specific, in the way. A specific Sainsbury's. Yeah, uh, yeah. That, that's that's clever. That so you can get them so they can get the trolley out yeah. and start fixing it if it go because that's always annoying when it I just know. waggled everywhere. Feels like uh, yeah, I've always had one like that every so often where the fucking wheels not on properly. It's like so that is allowed. Sainsbury's. Yeah, I'm yeah. to uh, check in my local Sainsbury's see if I can see that somewhere. I wonder if it's on the inside or outside. I mean, I, I don't tend to use the big trolleys. Um, no much i use just the baskets yeah usually uh, you only need that or like the small shallower trolley look uh, at their little uh little uh um having a go there at aldi on the left side oh we're price matched to aldi <laughs> yeah um, indeed yeah they're trying to do that all these supermarkets just tried to keep doing that yeah uh, i've noticed uh, one of the adverts actually uh for lidl um recently is uh Oh look at this! You can get all these. You know, like, like do a load of product. You can get all these for like twenty four ninety nine, and then, whereas at Tesco you'd get this for fifty quid. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, a little dig there. Yes. Funny. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so on to you. Yes. So uh, a black bear came on my porch and ate the peanuts I threw for the chipmunks. <laughs> well, you know, I suppose uh, big animals will do that. They will take the food that you leave out for the smaller ones. <laughs> Yes, uh, there's a sort of little rhyme to remember um, between what you should do with a black bear, brown bear, and a polar yeah. bear. I think um, if a polar bear, you fuck off quickly. Yeah. I think if a brown a brown bear, you stand your ground, and if it's a, a black bear, you need to run. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. But anyway, this looks a small bear, so it must be very young. This one. Yeah. Uh, but don't disturb him. It's his peanuts now. Indeed, yes. <laughs> yep, yeah, um, you know, that porch also it now belongs to the bear, so... Um, <laughs> the bear's got it forever. Indeed, absolutely. And the chairs, you know, that belong to the bear, the rug, that belongs to the bear as well. Everything's bear. <laughs> Everything's coming okay. up bear. <laughs> Everything's coming up bear. There we are, indeed. <clears throat> what a 38-year difference looks like between the Dodge 3500, 3500. Uh, oh, mm. ah, look at that there. Mm, indeed. 
that is where yeah it just goes to show you how development works doesn't it and, yeah. and changes that happen and how the uh um car designer will have you know better and improved parts and everything just to show you how cars have changed over the yeah. years. It's funny how like cars from sort of like the 70s, 80s, that kind of area, uh, era even, you know, always have that very like boxy sort of Yes, um, you can design. see, can't you, there? Yeah, <laughs> indeed, yes. They um, did have that boxy design. Now they made them more sleek, aerodynamic, a bit more stylish. A bit more curlier, yes. That's one, yes, Absolutely. a bit more curves. Mm. Right, next we have the difference in my hands before and after a £130 weight loss. Let's have a look. Yeah, good on you, OP. Um, you know. Yeah, that is some difference, isn't it? Yeah, it yeah. looks like the, the, the ring is, is slipping off. Yeah, indeed. It looks like it's really loose. Yeah. Well done. Absolutely. Well done on you there. Um, good to see, you know, you take charge of your life and self-bettering and all that. Um, yeah, look at the, uh, as well, uh, between the two pictures, look at the space between the fingers. Yeah. There's so much more space. Indeed, yeah. <laughs> Light is coming through your, through your fingers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh down a bit that's an advert uh, bird laid a nest in our holiday reef and had babies right and the babies yes baby birds there we are uh, oh, it's going to be a bit awkward though because you're now going to have to leave that up for a while unless you just shoot yeah, the birds off <laughs> that's going to cause bad luck isn't it leaving indeed. the leaving the christmas wreath there yeah it's not christmas indeed sort of uh, awkward though because obviously that's on a door so that's a vertical wreath so they've just got like that tiny little <laughs> bit on top to perch on yeah to perch on so they're yeah. not going to get not going to get very far there are indeed. they indeed yes yeah. right a huge sugar cristiolium grew at the bottom of my maple syrupian can yeah right. okay Curious. that is that's a chonker of a that sugar is a crystal. chonker indeed, yeah. that. How big is your I maple syrup can? all in one go. Oh, yeah. God. That'll be like... A, a, you can shoot that all in one go and go, well, shit, I've got diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yeah. i got that diabetes. There we are. Mm. I like the little... Uh, it looks like uh, there's a bit of a festive sock yeah, on the floor there. Christmas sock down there. <laughs> Christmas sock. That is one heck of a sugar crystal. I know, yeah. Uh, okay. Please. Good Lord, that is big. That's a big boy. Uh, where are we? This packaging uses an optical illusion to make the vegetables look more green. I mean, right. Okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, they do look. A bit right. Greener. So they're not as green as that in the pack, are they? Then. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I guess not. Indeed. I like how you said the vegetables, as though there's more than one type. Yeah. I only see broccoli here. Same here. I only see broccoli in there as well. Just, yes, there just seems to be broccoli. Um, Phil, what is this strange things that look like tiny little trees in my bag? <laughs> oh, I do like it. Oh, I do like a bit of broccoli. It is yeah. tasty. Mm. Uh, and I, I've heard that it's the... Uh, is it the vegetable with the most amount of protein in it? Um, possibly. I think, uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I think broccoli is. Yes. Okay, interesting one there. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a company here who has emergency hours for 23 and a half hours. <laughs> okay, 23 and a half hour emergency hours. That's very specific. Um, so okay. water, wind, fire, and smoke. So there you go. So they get so they get uh, a half an hour, just half an hour of break, and then yeah. back to it again. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, that's all you need. Half an hour break every single day, 24-7. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> right, Bob, it's time for half an hour break. And in that time, you've got to have your, your breakfast, your lunch and your tea. All Absolutely. in one go. Yes. <laughs> you've got to combine your, your, your cereal with your sandwich and crisps and then your... Uh, big chicken casserole, all in one, just, uh, all in one bite. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and then take a quick. Well, what you could do, you could put it all together, get your uh, uh, get your shreddies in, and then uh, sprinkle it with a bit of the uh, ham and cheese sandwich over the top of it, <laughs> and then a few a few crisps, and then get your freshly cooked uh, chicken casserole and just sprinkle that on top as well. There you go, yeah. all done. Put it all in one big casserole pot. There we are. There we go. Indeed, yes. Uh, all right. <clears throat> so. Um... Creepy Biden mannequin bound and gagged on a car in Texas. Mannequin spelt wrong there yeah. as well, but <laughs> oh god, right? Yeah, oh. this is some, this is some weird Trump supporter, I think. This one. <laughs> yes, he's trying to do that. Yeah, oh, people in their political ways, eh? Yeah. Oh, dearly, I have this. I'm afraid this is this is what happens. Yeah, kind of creepy. Yes, not going to lie. Um, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That is that is quite creepy. That one. Indeed. Oh dear. Yeah. Um, uh, is right. It? My prescription bottle uses the law and order font. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, it is, isn't it? The font from uh, law and order. God, I had to think about that for a moment. Cause I oh, yeah, it does. I wonder yeah. why the... Mm. <laughs> I guess it's just like maybe a publicly available font that they both happen We'd to have used. We'd hope so, yeah. Otherwise, yeah. it might fall into copyright issues. <laughs> uh, copyright, yes. 
Yeah, so you've got to be got to be careful that. But that, yeah, yeah, certainly yeah. interesting. Okay. Indeed. There we are. Okay. Uh, my office break room has a Dell branded seasoning. Oh. Oh. Um, well. But I, where? where? <laughs> uh, sorry, Dell. Are the is the technology industry not working out for you? Yeah. Is that not getting enough money? <laughs> you're going into the seasoning business. Yes, indeed. Got some Cajun and some barbecue seasoning yeah. there. Yeah, if, that's if, weird. If they don't do dill, Dell's dill, <laughs> that'll be very disappointing. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. Yeah. yeah. They, oh, they've got to do a dill. They've got yeah. to do a dill seasoning. But why are they doing that? that that's really, that, of all the things you could break out in. Mind you, saying that. I know that companies like Samsung, Samsung started, um, uh, uh, Samsung started doing, um, what did they do? They uh, started doing something uh, like cloth lining things and Nintendo started doing playing cards. Well, playing when, cards, yeah. I mean, that yeah. makes sense for Nintendo as a, a game related company. Um, Samsung clothes, uh, yeah, I suppose. Um, yeah. Indeed. Curious. Okay, uh, so my local gas station sells water from the DMZ or DMZ. DMZ. Oh, is this? Oh, it's been militarised though. Korea, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> indeed. Oh, okay, that that is intriguing. Mm, interesting, indeed. Yeah. Militarised zone is a natural oasis, untouched by humankind for over sixty-seven years. Just watched by uh, guards on both sides. <laughs> Yeah, so the people have to go and get the water. Uh, if we can get shot, so <laughs> yeah, they, they run the, the gauntlet. <laughs> oh dear, okay. yes, demilitarized water, Phil. You no, know. you are. Ah, okay. this is interesting because the next one on my list is literally this one about a parking line painted over a crab, which is curious. Um, oh well, we can have a look at that one now then. I'll yeah. Just, uh, oh god, I'm going to just scroll back up on my. Yeah. Uh, okay, so here we go. Now we found a parking line over a crab. Indeed. So. Um, curious so was it like a dead crab or something that was just there and they just painted over it they didn't bother to move and, it out uh, right? you know what it suggests to me oh laziness 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 indeed <laughs> yeah uh, oh that, that's it tell you exactly where this would fit mm. not my job yeah absolutely um yeah, yeah this, so would be, this would go in the reddit not my, uh, the subreddit not my job yeah let's hope the crab was dead before it got painted over yeah well it looks like it's a bit crushed in that picture yeah it does doesn't it so um yeah indeed Poor old crap. Okay. Here we are. Right. Um, so, my nine-year-old nephew has found over 1,500 lucky... Okay, why is that uh, in inverted commas? But there you go. Four-leaf clovers and then keeps them in a big binder. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, oh, that's... Uh, yeah, and that's only one, two pages. I know. So, <laughs> be some Jeez. more pages there of yeah. four-leaf clovers. Yeah, well, someone's got a very specific niche hobby by the sounds of it. Uh, uh, excuse me. Some of those clovers there have more than four leaves. Looks like it, doesn't Looking it? Looking at this one on the left here, this 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 yeah. quite big one. It's got one, two, three, four, five. There's six there. Yeah. On that one, uh, guys, I don't like lying. Okay. Yeah. This is this is so unprofessional. Don't lie to Phil, otherwise don't Phil will lie. track you but, down. That's a cool little hobby. I like people who have these little hobbies, which is quite cool. You know, collecting things like stamps and trinkets yeah. and all sorts of things like that. It's a good, nice little thing to pass the time, isn't it? Indeed. And there's people out there who have a go at it. Just leave them to do their own hobbies. Yeah, oh, why collect fine. stamps? It's so dirty. What are you doing, you little fucker? Oh, <laughs> yes, indeed. Um, let people do what they want. It's not hurting others and all that. Absolutely. Um, right, where are we? So, Chief of Police wants me dead, sign in small town Kansas. Okay. Um, right. Parker's Chief of Police wants me dead, says John right, Crater, okay. taxpayer. Okay, um, <laughs> sure, <laughs> I guess. Oh, it looks like he's having issues with uh, taxes. Ah. Just look at the sign in front of it, yeah. Yep. Ready for your real estate taxes to skyrocket? City has already spent $30,000 and it's just approved another 15000 Final bill for a dead end road over one million dollars. Today it's my property. Tomorrow it could be your property. <laughs> mm. Dear to me. This this person's having a bit of a, a furor. Yes. A furor. Excellent word yes. excellent use of that word, Phil. <laughs> excellent use. Does it get you Next we have enough? animal crackers coming in an animal sheet. Oh, okay. So yes. Oh just... yes, I uh, well we know what's happened here. The yeah. uh, the factory <laughs> has not cut it correctly. Indeed, yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, you know, 
I've seen animal crackers in the, in the supermarket. They're more aimed towards kids, yeah. I think, <laughs> I believe. They're more aimed towards... Uh, but I, I, I think I had one with like a little, but I haven't... You know what? Fuck it, Andrew. I don't know what... I, I, next time I see some animal crackers, I'm going to get some. Fuck yeah. it, it's for kids. I want to have <laughs> them again. Because I haven't had them in ages. I do remember when I was little, I, I did have, have some. They were really nice, especially the ones with chocolate on them. Yeah, you're an adult, it's your money, you can do with it what you want and all that. If you want to spend it on kids' food, then you do you. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, 100%, 100% right. yeah. on that one. My wireless charger charges my aluminium mug. Uh, okay, um... <laughs> Wait, what, so, why, what, so, hang on, right, so you've plugged your wireless charger into what appears to be yeah. your... What is that, like an Alexa or a Google assistant thing and then no what no that's the at? wireless charger oh that is part of the wireless what the, the big circular bit with the blue the ring blue? yeah that's the wireless charger oh, so okay. what you do is you'd, you'd, you'd power that in and then you'd uh, you put you could put your phone near it and it would it would charge it up okay. so it looks like the aluminium mug it can be can be run through that as well oh okay i see i was a bit it's confused interesting that it yeah. up the mug. <laughs> i've yeah, never seen a circular charger anyway. before like that that's uh, that's new We've to never me. Seen. I've uh, never the... actually seen one of those things before. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if maybe I've just been living under a rock, but... Uh, Sounds like it. Well, where are you? 2001? <laughs> yeah. Lime. That must be. Yeah. Gosh, who knows? <laughs> Indeed, yeah. Okie dokie. I, Andrew, me, I, found seven, would you believe, empty bottles of vodka in a one-mile stretch of road. Damn, so someone uh, was drinking overnight and just dumped them. Jesus. Yeah. Someone loves the Smirnoff. There we are. Mm. Good, Bennett. That's uh, isn't hasn't vodka got a high alcohol content? Yeah, it's like really yeah. strong. <laughs> yeah, it's really strong. Bloody hell, they'll be bloody caked. I know, and littering as well. Well, go, glad the yeah. OP picked all that up. And probably disposed of them. Yeah, get rid of them. Get them shoved in a bin. Wait, where are you seeing that? They haven't specifically said they've cleaned them up. Well, that's the thing. They might not have done. They might have yeah. just cast them away. Uh, <laughs> do the comments know. shed some light? Let's have a look. Uh, you found someone's route home. <laughs> Top <laughs> comment. Indeed. Uh, could yeah. also be the route to work. That happens more than you think. Wow, well, someone drinking yeah. heavily before they come to work. <laughs> yeah, drown the true. pain of work. Do okay, me. Yeah. Yes. Right, next one. Um, let's see. My lion toy figurine from the 80s is anatomically correct. Oh, this is marked as an NSFW one. <laughs> oh, I don't I don't have that one. Oh, do you not have that one? Well, we won't do oh, that one. The next one, one I have is an ad. Okay, yeah, I see that one. Yeah. And I had to buy a squirrel monkey for less than $20 in a comic book from the 60s. Wow. Um, okay. So, That's well, there we go. For $18.95, yeah. we can get ourselves a darling pet monkey. With free cage, free leather collar and leash, free toy and instructions included with each monkey. Loads of fun and amusement. Wow. Yeah, that's okay. something you would have only really done uh, back then in the 60s. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, would so not get that now. Thing. You can have a He-Man voice. Yes, yeah, notice that <laughs> below. What's going on there? Yeah. Um, a free booklet to help. How to write, sell and publish your own songs. Poems Wanted, the Illustrated Comic Collector's Handbook. Oh, there's all sorts of interesting things in this there one. indeed, yeah. <laughs> Shot by mail. Oh, dear. Yeah, no internetties. Do you know what oh, it does remind me of, though? Reminds me of um, yeah. that uh, Cadicorous video I once talked about on Sir a long time ago, the one where he's talking about PS1 magazine. And it was oh, like, he talked yeah. about all like the adverts that they had for all like these crazy PS1 yeah. accessories and things like that. Before it basically went downhill and became a porn mag, basically. Yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. a shame it things like that happen but Indeed. Yeah. oh dear yeah, absolutely absolutely yeah okay <laughs> um german discount a little ah we love a bit of little it's selling drill bits in beer cans drill bits eh? mm. oh yeah bits set oh, in a beer can curious um, so they're reusing the beer can and then relabeling and everything sounds like and they're it. putting some uh, drill bits inside it that's yeah. very interesting use of it isn't it really indeed though I feel like it would be a nightmare getting them out through that tiny little... Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh yes, because they'll assuming, all come up, yeah, they, as well, indeed. to get them out. Unless, you know, they've been redesigned, so you can just, like, I don't know, open them better, open them more widely or something, who knows. Can you imagine uh, uh, taking it with you and, and, and like, when you with, with your friend who's doing some drilling and that, oh, shit, I forgot my drill bits. No <laughs> worry, I've got just the solution. Yeah. Jeff, this is not the time to be drinking. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Get the drill bits out of there. There we are. Yeah. Right, shall we uh, do a couple more? Um, yeah, we'll yeah. do. Yeah, two more. Let's two do more. That. Okay, no, my completely finished Vaseline. It's just wow. completely empty. Absolutely well, empty. Yeah. 
I'll tell you, I'll tell you what, Andrew. If there's anything that describes mildly interesting, this is know, it. This, this is, is about it. as mild as you can get. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if this is uh, mildly interesting to some people, then my God. <laughs> well, I think you it's because have... it's very difficult to finish a Vaseline True. Uh, carton. You must have some uh, very chapped lips that need a lot of Vaseline, hoping. Yeah, to get that finished. Or maybe it could be done over the, over a few months, couldn't yeah. it? Either that, or they are a long distance runner who needs lots of uh, needs lots of Vaseline to rub on their nipples so they don't get rubbed off by their t-shirt or something. Oh God, yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> That's the thing that happens, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it can happen, it can. Right, yeah. so our final one is a building in Tokyo, which is literally the width of a door. Wow. Wow. Oh. Um, okay. What is even okay, inside Japan. that? What's happening? What's happening here? Jesus, what hang on. Is there something space. in the comments? Is there anything? I believe this is a coffee cafe, crazy enough. If it's the same building in this post, then the inside is a lot roomier than I imagined. And there's a uh, oh. thing. Okay. Looks like the TARDIS. Okay. Oh, like 90% of the time, you see pics like the one OP posted the buildings are wedge shaped. The photographer intentionally chooses an angle to make it look absurd. So it may be slightly wider. Maybe, but, yeah. Yeah, but it's, oh, I, I would like to go to Tokyo. There's just so many uh, funny little quirks and things yeah. to go and see, isn't there? My sister once yeah. showed me a video on YouTube of like an um, apartment um, in Tokyo and places like that, which are like ridiculously small. And it's insane, like yeah, how small I've some of them are. Those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like where, you, uh, yeah. your sister's been, hasn't she? She has been to uh, Japan. Yeah, She's been to Tokyo. Yeah, yeah indeed. Uh, a couple yeah. of years back. Um, yeah, she enjoyed it very much. Um, she found it very good, and it is one of those places in you know, Japan that is worth a visit. I know it's on my list of places I want to visit. Uh, yeah, see the it's culture. Quite a while to get there. It's about a ten-hour flight. True. Yeah. <laughs> or something. Indeed. What's this on the left here? This sort of this metallic box. Yeah. What, what is that? It? Yeah, I don't know. It's strange. Um, I'm zooming in. Oh, I've got to zoom right in actually. Uh, hmm. hmm. I don't, don't understand because I don't speak Japanese nope. either. So <laughs> you don't. You can't read kanji um, or whatever it is, katakana or uh, hiragana or whatever the heck. Uh, I feel it's like so oh, look at me. Oh, because I watch so much anime. Look at me, Andrew Taylor. I watch so much anime. I know all the different scripts of the Actually, Japanese. Actually, I think you'll find oh, I didn't I get that it. from anime. Oh, I, <laughs> I, have, I have become a full-on weeaboo. Okay, weeaboo des. Yes, Phil, Phil Cunn will uh, call you that um, from now on. Well, that's, that was quite uh, a little interesting. I do like mildly interesting because you never know what you're going to see. You never it's know what you get. Big things, yeah. Indeed. Uh, well, let's try those other ones like the Not My Job. Oddly terrifying. That will yeah. be interesting. One. My mum always said Reddit is like a box of chocolates. <laughs> Here we are. That's it. Indeed. Well, there we go. Yeah. Thanks for joining me for that there, Phil. Absolutely. Indeed. Facebook and Twitter links down below, along with the link to my propaganda channel for anyone interested. If you, you know, did enjoy, you know, you could just, you know, hit that little button down there that says, you know, the one with the thumbs up. I don't, I don't know what it's called. It's called the, the, the lack button or something. Um, the lack button. Yes, I don't know. I can't remember what it's called for the life of me, Phil. Definitely can't. So you can do that, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. absolutely no idea, have you? No, no, no idea at all. No idea. No, no, neither do you, for that matter. So, I don't know. I don't, I don't have an idea yeah. at all. Nah. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Uh, now, oh my god, that's a thing down there. Okay. Let me see, all these things here. Oh, this looks interesting. There we go, so. Pick that up and throw it down. Brings us to a stop, right? Make it remove it. Oh, there we go, see? We've got a nice little supply of them. Let's pull that up because we don't need that. Like that. Good mackerel. There we go. Doing good for food. Look at that, everything's sort of stuck in the water. Well, this looks pleasant, doesn't it? It's very nice. It's shallow water. I mean, look at all this over here. I could arguably, or well, possibly, for a swim as long as old Sharky Boy decides not to be an asshole. So I think uh, we'll get that, harvest some uh, eggs from around here, and then we'll uh, explore our island.